trust. Paddle with the master. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 6. Trust in God means to have complete confidence in his plans, timing, and his character. Even when circumstances are uncertain or difficult. To trust God involves surrendering control, believing that he is faithful, loving and all-knowing, and that he will work everything for good according to his purpose. Romans 8 verses 28. As Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 6 teaches us, trusting God means leaning not on our own understanding, but committing our lives to him with full assurance that he will direct our lives. Trust is beyond a feeling. It's a choice that we have to make daily to place our hope in God's wisdom rather than our own. It's choosing to believe that God's plan for us is good and his hands hold us securely, even when our eyes cannot see the way. The act of trusting someone isn't easy, especially when one has been wounded. Imagine having a mirror and it gets broken. It won't be easy to put it together. Sometimes due to our past experience, trusting someone doesn't come easily to us. It's like a new language that has to be relearned. Trusting God is as essential to life as food is to the body. There's an African proverb that says, wisdom is like a boabab tree. No one individual can embrace it. In the same way, trusting God requires more than human wisdom. It calls for a deep surrender to his will for our lives. We need to seek God for wisdom and trust his will even when we don't understand. Trust in God means understanding that he works in his own time, not ours. As Ecclesiastes 3 verses 11 tells us, he has made everything beautiful in its time. Trusting God isn't about having, receiving instant miracles to our prayers, but rather it's about believing and standing firm in our faith and the character of God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Though the process may not be easy, as believers, we know that God will be with us. We must trust in the process, much like the farmer who plants his seeds and waits, knowing that with time, the harvest will come. The process of trusting God shapes us. As the fire refines gold, so does trust refine our faith. Through trials, we learn to trust God all the more. As we realize that our strength alone is not enough. In trusting God, we also learn to surrender completely to Him. We acknowledge that God is sovereign and the ruler of all things. Human strength and plans can fail, but God's ways 
never fail. Trusting in the Lord means letting go and letting God be God in our lives. As Jesus taught us in Matthew 6 verses 34, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Trust is about walking in today's grace and putting your faith in God who holds tomorrow and the day after. Releasing our fears and anxieties into his hands because he alone can be trusted. When we learn to trust God, we are able to experience peace. As we let go of our burdens, we find rest in Him. It is my prayer that you will surrender your life to Jesus. Trust in the one who is unfailing, a faithful father and a wonderful counselor. As we trust in God, we find that he is all we need and in him we are never alone.